Hey, Mill Church family, so today is Thursday, and the Thursday prior to Jesus' crucifixion fills many pages in Scripture. And it begins with, we see that John and Peter is sent off to secure the upper room for the Lord's Supper. And in that time with his disciples, Jesus ends up washing their feet in, a, in an incredible uh, showing of servanthood. And he also tells one of them that they will betray him that very night. And um, as they begin to eat, he announces that, and each wonders if it could be him that's gonna betray Jesus. And then he finally tells Judas just to go and do what he's supposed to do. So during the Last Supper, Jesus sets apart the Passover bread and the cup, and he perfects their meaning, really. And he says the bread is his body and that the, the juice is his blood. And this meal will no longer remind them of God's deliverance primarily from the, from the, the Roman government, but it will remind them of the freedom that they're gonna have from their internal sins, from their guilt, from their, from their past. I wanna read from Matthew chapter 26, starting in verse 26. It says this, while they were eating, Jesus took bread and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take and eat, this is my body. And he took a cup and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them saying, drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. So Jesus prays for his friends. He, he prays for those who will come to know him through them and that his father would make them one. But Jesus and his friends leave then for the Mount of Olives to pray. But he isn't there only to pray. He's also there to wait. Soon a line of torches will snake their way through the darkness toward him. This is the moment that he's been waiting for. So what I wanna do now is I just wanna take a moment as we've just read uh, what happened in that Last Supper and I, I want you to take the elements that you have, the juice and the cracker or whatever it is that you may have and, and I just want you to reflect on what Jesus has done and I'm gonna pray and I just want you to take your time and as the Lord leads you to, uh, to take his body and his blood and remember what he's done for you. Father, I thank you so much for this representation of what you have done for us, that you came to do for us what we couldn't do for ourselves. And I pray that you will bless each and every person right now that's taken this, that's remembering the sacrifice that you've made for us. We love you and we thank you. It's in Jesus' name we pray.